Hey guys, it's Emily from Heart My Body Fitness. Today is all about dairy-free yogurt alternatives. If you like today's topic, please like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you never miss another video. I was inspired to bring this topic to you because I've really been trying to cut dairy out of my nutrition as of late. It just kind of bloats me up, doesn't feel very good. I tend to feel better and leaner when I'm not consuming dairy. So in today's video, I'm going to review nine different dairy-free yogurt alternatives. I'm going to cover their nutritional facts, their consistency, and then I'm gonna taste them and show you what I think right then and there. Let's dive right in. Okay, the first yogurt is the Good Karma dairy-free yogurt. It is made with flax milk and it's vanilla flavored. This baby clocks in at a cool 120 calories, two grams of fat, 22 grams of carbohydrate, 15 grams of sugar, five grams protein, and 70 milligrams of sodium. I haven't actually tried this one before, so um, <laughs> bottoms up, here we go. Oh. Oh, mm-hmm. It's a really um, potent flavor at the very beginning. Oh, no, 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 that's bad. Ah, it's not very vanilla-y. The texture is kind of slimy. Um, I probably wouldn't be able to make this taste any better by adding stuff to it, like fruit and stuff. So um, I don't think I'm gonna eat this one ever again. <clears throat> Make sure I drink my water. To cleanse the palate, you know. We're real official here. <sighs> okay, next up is the Forager Dairy-Free Cashew Gurt in vanilla. It's organic and um, free of lactose, gluten, and soy. This yogurt is 140 calories. It has six grams of fat, 19 grams of carbohydrate, 12 grams of sugar, two grams protein, and 10 milligrams of sodium. Okay, it's kind of beany on it. I don't know if you can see that. It looks like vanilla beans, which is fun. Huh. That has a, actually not a terrible flavor. Let's see here. You can definitely taste that this is made with cashew milk. Um, it definitely has that cashewy aftertaste. If you're okay with cashews, it'll be fine. It is a little bit goopy though. As you can see, it's kind of runny. If you can get over that or add things to it, then you might like this one. Okay, this next one is the Kite Hill Artisan Almond Milk Yogurt. It is vanilla, soy and dairy free, traditionally cultured. Hmm, let's see. Here we've got 180 calories, 11 grams of fat, 15 grams carbohydrate, 14 grams of sugar, five grams of protein, and five milligrams of sodium. Oh, I think the main problem with flavored yogurt is that it's so sweet. It, it's, again, kind of goopy, kind of glue-like in consistency. Not quite as bad as the good karma one. I'm kind of getting not that much vanilla of a flavor. There's some other flavor in the beginning that um, just isn't very good. Mm. <sighs> this is honestly just so sweet. I probably wouldn't want to get this one again, in, at least in the vanilla flavor. Yeah, I don't know. I don't love this one. Here we go. Okay, this one is gonna be sort of um, an anomaly because it's the Daya, I, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. It's the strawberry, because that's all I could find at the grocery store, dairy and soy-free Greek yogurt alternative. This yogurt is 150 calories. It has 4.5 grams of fat, 20 grams of carbohydrate, 13 grams of sugar, eight grams of protein, and it does clock in with the highest sodium content with 115 milligrams. Okay. Um, I do want to note though, guys, you probably just saw this, but it's kind of a goopy, goopy goop. Mm. Let's see. Could be good. It smells like strawberries. Okay. 
for a strawberry yogurt, this is nice. It's actually not quite as sweet as like the Yoplait and other more of this like standard strawberry yogurts. So, okay. I don't mind the kind of chunkiness of it. Yeah. So if you like strawberry yogurt and you don't like it quite as sweet as the Yoplait um, or having dairy, this could be a good option for you. Cool. This one is the Stonyfield Organic Osoy Vanilla Soy Yogurt. This one's got 130 calories, 2.5 grams of fat, 20 grams of carbohydrate, 18 grams sugar, 7 grams protein, and 30 milligrams of sodium. It is um, kind of a gooey consistency, kind of like glue, um, but let's see. It doesn't have a good beginning taste. It doesn't have a good aftertaste. A little bit of a vanilla flavor, um, but it's got kind of just so much sweetness that it's a little bit overpowering. This is not one that I'd probably eat on my own on a regular basis. I'm gonna yak in like five minutes, guys, this is bad. Next up is the vanilla, so delicious, dairy-free coconut milk yogurt alternative made with organic coconut. With this, we've got 130 calories, four grams of fat, 22 grams carbohydrate, 16 grams of sugar, less than one gram of protein, and 30 milligrams of sodium. <clears throat> I feel like this is one of the more common brands that I see out there. Okay. It's very sweet, I must say. I think that just with all vanilla yogurts, anything that's flavored, it's gonna be pretty sweet. It's a little bit creamier than a few of the other ones that I've tried so far, but also it's it's not it's not bad. I would probably maybe choose this. I'd wanna try it in plain, um, but if you're looking for a dairy-free alternative, you could probably add some stuff to this to make it pretty good. This next one is the plain, so delicious, dairy-free coconut milk yogurt alternative. I already tried the vanilla one and this is the plain one just because I was curious to see what the difference might be. This yogurt is 110 calories. It has five grams of fat, 17 grams of carbohydrates, 10 grams of sugar, less than one gram of protein, and 30 milligrams of fat. So of all the yogurts today, this one has the lowest calories, the lowest sugar, and it is tied for lowest protein with the So Delicious Vanilla. So again, pretty creamy. That one's pretty good. It has less flavor for sure than any of the ones that I've tasted. It's not as sweet. It's still sweet, but I can tell that they, you know, weren't trying to add in any like extra flavor. It's quite plain. Um, I think that I probably prefer this one over a lot of the other really sweet ones that I've tried. So, all right, this one could be in the running. Not as creamy as probably a regular yogurt would be, but um, this is definitely doable. And if you're adding fruit and stuff where you don't really need to have like a super yogurty yogurt, then this would be a good alternative. Okay. So much yogurt. Ugh. Now I've got the Silk Almond Milk Yogurt Alternative in vanilla. It's dairy free and soy free. The Silk Almond is the highest in calories at 200 calories per container. It has 11 grams of fat, 21 grams of carbohydrate, 17 grams of sugar, 5 grams of protein, and 90 milligrams of sodium. This one also has little specks in it, which makes me feel like I'm being really, really healthy. Let's see. I know I'm not. Ice cream has specks in it too, but whatever. Hmm. Okay. So this one I actually kind of like. Um, I have had this before, but given the array of other options, I wasn't sure how much I'd still like this one. I do. I like it. This one is not as sweet as the others, although it is still, I mean, decently sweet because it's flavored vanilla, but 
not quite as bad as the other ones in terms of that sweetness. You can tell I didn't really make a face in the beginning or at the end, there's not really a major aftertaste. This one's kind of nice and light. So I'm on board with silk in terms of taste. And the final yogurt is the Silk Dairy Free Yogurt Alternative made with soy. It is vanilla and it is nut free. However, they do mention on the ingredients list that it contains soy and it's produced in a facility that also processes tree nuts. So this yogurt has 140 calories, 3.5 grams of fat, 20 grams of carbohydrate, 16 grams of sugar, 6 grams of protein, and 95 milligrams of sodium. Mmm, that's good. I think I found my winner, guys. This one is, again, not as sweet as a lot of the other ones that I've tried today. It's very creamy. It's got a nice consistency. This would be good with some things added. It'd probably be pretty good in a smoothie. It doesn't have a super overpowering taste. And although I definitely do get the vanilla vibe from this, it's not so much that in the beginning I'm like making a face or regretting my choices. Yeah, I could eat this whole thing. Yeah, this is pretty good. Silk. Okay, so after all that fun, my final thoughts in terms of taste are the silk almond and silk soy were definitely the most delicious, followed by the so plain. Um, those are probably the three that I would stick with just in terms of taste alone. Now, you'll have to go back into the video and see nutrition facts and decide what's gonna be best for you. But hopefully this video gave you enough information that you can go into your grocery store making a relatively informed decision. As always, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, please comment in the section below this video. If you like it, like it, share it out, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can catch all of these fantastic tastings and workouts forevermore.